Using Docker, you can package your software into isolated units called containers. These containers have all the necessary dependencies to allow the application to run. And the best thing is you can run it in any environment, so it doesn't matter if you're using a local workstation or a production cloud server, it will always work the same way. Although we have a widespread adoption of Docker and use it everywhere, very many people in the IT industry cannot explain what it is. If someone were to ask you what Docker is, here's what you can answer. Docker is a software that allows you to to separate an application from the infrastructure by using containers. These containers, in turn, are isolated environments that have everything that is needed to run the application. This has really many advantages. First off, it is very portable, so migrating the applications between environments is very easy. Second, the application and its dependencies are isolated. The third benefit is that it is efficient, because the containers all share the same operating system kernel. And the fourth benefit is the scalability because you can run multiple instances of a container and distribute the workload between them. In general, when we run an application, we first need some infrastructure such as a personal computer or a web server. On top of the infrastructure, we usually have some sort of operating system that allows us to execute the applications. On the operating system, we then have the Docker engine, which allows us to containerize applications and also run them. And so running on top of the Docker engine, we have the containerized application. Docker containers are often compared to virtual machines because they both provide a way to isolate and package applications. The key difference is that Docker containers share the same host operating system. With virtual machines, on the other hand, every virtual machine has a full copy of the operating system, the application, libraries, and binaries. And that is why Docker containers are usually said to be more lightweight and efficient than virtual machines. So why do we use Docker at all? By using Docker, we solve the it works on my machine problem because the applications can run the same way on different environments. Besides that, Docker helps us separate the application and dependencies from each other and the system. The isolation that we achieve using Docker also has a benefit in terms of security. Docker containers are also more scalable because multiple instances of a container can be run and orchestrated with a technology such as Kubernetes. And finally, Docker containers boost productivity. They are fast, they are lightweight, they integrate well with automation and have a large development community. When you start using Docker, there are three key words that I want you to know. They are coincidentally also the first three things that you see when you open the desktop version of Docker. That's image, container, and volume. An image is a read-only template with instructions for creating a Docker container and it is created from a Docker file that we will see in a moment. The container is quite simply a runnable instance of the Docker image. And finally, volume is a data storage that remains available irrespective of the container lifecycle. So whatever you store in a volume is available whether the container is running or not. To containerize our first application, we need an image which is created from the Docker file. Every instruction in the Docker file creates a new layer in the image. We're going to start from node 18 Alpine, which is downloaded from the cloud. Then we can define our directory as forward slash app. Then we might want to copy some files from the current directory on our host machine to another destination, which is going to be the working directory. Then you might want to run some terminal commands in order to install the dependencies. Then to start the application, you might want to run some default command. And finally, you might want to expose a port to the world outside of the container. To create the image for the container, you can run docker build, add the flag t, that adds a tag to your image, which is going to be getting started. And at the end, you can add a dot, which tells docker that the docker file is in the current directory. Now you have created an image and using this image, you can start a Docker container. You can now run the Docker container by running this command in your terminal. And congratulations, you have containerized the application from the starter guide of Docker. In the desktop version of Docker, you can now see that we have one running container. By clicking on the name and then on files, you will see that we have the working directory app where we copied all the files to. And you can also go ahead and click on the port to see the application running in your browser. So this has been Docker in just under five minutes. If you have enjoyed this video, then let me know by leaving a like down below and I'll create more of these types of videos in the future.